So a lot of people may not know that reptiles see different things than we do. Reptiles can actually see ultraviolet light. Some of them can actually see ultraviolet light at night. And therefore, reptiles look different to other reptiles than they do to us. So I'm at the VivTech booth right now. Ryan McVeigh has loaned me, given me, he thinks loaned, but this is mine now. This is an ultraviolet light. And I'm gonna go around the Schomburg Reptile Expo. I'm gonna shine this ultraviolet light on a lot of the reptile species that are here and show you guys how reptiles look to other reptiles. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. So there was recently this paper, a study on reptile eyes, and what that paper found was that they have very, well, some species have very specific rods and cones in their eyes that enable them to see ultraviolet light even at night. So when reptiles look at each other, they are looking at each other and seeing each other very different than how we're seeing them. They see each other with that ultraviolet light. So the way that a chameleon sees another chameleon is very different than the way that we actually see chameleons. So, Ryan McVeigh, yes. you have lent me this light. Yes. And I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna film what reptiles look like under ultraviolet light, but we're gonna start with your little dude right here. Yeah. So, so this is just a lychee. Yep. Just a plain lychee. I mean, are lychees actually plain? They are not, they are awesome. Awesome and gorgeous lychee, but naturally occurring normal look of a lychee. Right, yes. now. Ultraviolet light. Look at the, oh, yeah, so their bo you know what you're seeing in its head? Their bones fluoresce neon yellow. Oh, wow. So that's what you're seeing, that yellow coming through. If I open his mouth, his teeth will be green. Look at the white on his body. Pop out, yep. Just totally popping out like that. And I mean, I don't know if the camera is translating that, but it literally is kind of like this lavender purple color that's coming out. Without the light, you can't Go see on. it. But with the light, you can definitely see those little scales popping out basically lavender. Lavender glow in the dark. So that light is 365 nanometer UVA, and this allows us to see what they see in plain daylight. And they can see those glowing marks. So when it's an animal like a chameleon that's got those bony tubercles, the males and females patterns are different, and they can tell uh, different genders from 20 feet away in a tree based on those glowing patterns on the face. Wow. And then a lot of animals also, Whoa. When they're looking at blending in, in 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 the visual spectrum, their predators like birds can see the UVA spectrum. So if they're not camouflaged in that spectrum as well, they stand out. So that's where you see a lot of different, a lot of the ultraviolet uh, or uh, bioluminescence in reptiles is actually ultraviolet bioluminescence. It's not like the algae that glows blue when you right, move it. Right. It's actually just from that sunlight and they can see it all the time. His eyes glow lavender too. Oh, he just, so, look at that. He's opening his mouth oh, and his it's, tongue. it's totally like neon green. So you see how his eyes are foggy? Yeah. All reptile ocular scales have UV filters. So that's why the eyes are clear, but if you hit it with that light, they go foggy. It's look at filtering that. the UV. So they have built-in sunglasses. I wish I had built-in sunglasses because then I wouldn't need to keep them on my head. Well, then who would you be? I would not be Dave. Exactly. Look at that. Yeah, all snakes have that same thing. All right, so that's what a lichianus looks like under ultraviolet light, but you have something other coolness to show us. Well, this will so, even look cooler because this is on the melanistic chihuahua. You can see that that's a male, right? I featured that in a previous video, some yep. expo that we did. Yep, so when it comes to pores and looking for pores, we're always looking for them and we call them scent pores, but realistically they're not just scent. And when you go into an animal's enclosure with the light that you have, including koalas and echidnas and other mammals that have scent glands, those scent markings are neon, neon. And those animals can see it during the day. So it's not just a smell on a tree, it's like seeing spray paint on a tree. Right, it's, it's and, and that's, it looks, how, that's how they find each other, Right. is they're seeing that glowing femoral pores yeah. and they're like, hey, I gotta get me some of that. So this is what we see when it comes to femoral pores. Zilla has everything you need for your reptile pets, from caging to lighting and everything in between. To see their entire catalog and find out where you can get Zilla products near you, visit ZillaRules.com. This is what they see. They literally glow like a beacon, and that could be the purpose of femoral pores. They see femoral pores much different than we do. Well, and the other thing too with that is because that, that the femoral pore actual secretion glows, 
when you have animals like some geckos that produce pseudopores in females, they don't glow. Right. They have pores, but they don't glow. But the males will glow, and you can actually sex them when they're five to ten grams with a loop. You can get in there, or you, yeah. can, you can move the... Their bones fluoresce, too. So if you move their skin and that line moves, the pores inside their body with the secretion that hasn't developed and excreted yet will glow in their skin. So that's what we see. That's what the other geckos see. They just literally glow in the dark and act as a beacon. Yeah, that's obviously a male. Yep. But this works with like tokes where they can be a little bit more notoriously hard to tell. Their femoral pores will glow or not. Yeah. If it's a boy, they glow. If it's a girl, they don't. This is incredible. All right. So I'm going to take your flashlight. Yep. I'm going to go around this expo. Yep. And we're going to see what other reptiles glow under this light and what they look like and, yep. under this. And this light will be available eventually on Vivtech's website. And I'm going to send you with some to go on your adventures so you can go see what they look like in the wild. You rock. Yeah. Awesome, dude. It is going to change everything. So VivTechProducts.com. Go check them out. Get a light. And all these other lights. All this stuff. All this stuff. Get it all. VivTechProducts.com. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, I will uh, return this uh, in a couple of years. I, whenever. Whenever <laughs> I see yeah, right. you. Thanks, no. Ryan. Yeah, I'll definitely hook you up with some next time because, dude, you'll be able to go into the jungle and see markings on trees. And that's what I want to do. You'll see pathways on the ground. You'll see for sure. so Pheromos. much cool stuff. So Pheromones. Cool. It's, it's, and then when you see animals pop out where they're like, it looks like a leaf, and then you do that, and it's neon it's yellow. It's just it. so I'm gonna unreal. It. I'm going to do it. Uh, meanwhile, Nikki over here wants to buy this tortoise. So, tortoise. yeah. So, s sell Nikki a tortoise. All right, I'm gonna let Ryan do his thing. I'm walking around this expo with this light. I am really interested to see how other reptiles look under this light. This is gonna be awesome. All right, so we've got this bearded dragon here. Look at that under ultraviolet light. Those head scales just glow in the dark. And then you take the light away and you can't see him with the naked eye. But you put ultraviolet light and that's how reptiles see each other under ultraviolet light. Look at that white just completely pop. Take it away, there's no white. All right, so we are over here at Royal Constrictor Designs with Garrick. It is always good to see you. I nice I gotta come you. back to Wausau and do a follow-up. It's been Absolutely. years, it's been but a few years. when it comes to reptiles under black light, here we have an albino inchy pinstripe. That's how he looks without the black light. But then, you add that black light and look at that. You see pattern that you would not ordinarily see. You take that away and it looks like that. Look at that pattern coming out under this ultraviolet light. You see all this pinstripe pattern coming out. Look at that. You see pattern on the head. You take it away and there's no pattern. So that's what a ball python looks like under ultraviolet light. Again, take it away. No pattern. Put it under ultraviolet light and you see all sorts of pattern that you just simply can't see with the naked eye. I gotta get one of those. I right? Yeah. Right? Cool. Um, I was the one who actually thought of this. Ryan McVeigh may tell you that he was the one who <laughs> gave me this and that this is actually Ryan's. It's not true. This is all my idea. I'll take your word on that. Okay, good, good, <laughs> good, yeah. So then over here, we've got a Super Mojave. So Mojave to a Mojave equals Super Mojave. They're kind of like a white snake like this. They're very interesting, but add that light and look at that pattern that's coming out. It's very, very subtle, but you can definitely see a pattern coming out that you could not see with just your plain old eyeball. I feel so much smarter now than it, I did right? 10 minutes ago. I, Unbelievable. I am so glad that I and my great idea has added to your knowledge base. Me too. It's pretty epic. I just feel excellent now. I feel oh. like I could go home a happy person. Right, right. It's pretty epic. All right, and over here we have a GTP, a green tree python. Nice and green, you can start to see a little bit of that pattern, but look what happens when I shine the light. At Dubia.com, all the roaches are raised in-house in sterile conditions and then packed and shipped on-site directly to you. For all your Dubia needs, order today at Dubia.com or see the link in the description below. All that pattern turns like almost this fluorescent blue color. Take the light away and you can't really see it. But this is exactly why you should always bring an ultraviolet light with you to a reptile expo. Because you get to see reptiles in a, well, I guess, um, <clears throat> brand new light. Sorry. 
terribly, terribly sorry for that. So there's a lot of animals that will show up differently under ultraviolet light than they will to the naked eye. And a lot of us know that scorpions will do that, and it's so cool to watch it happen. Well, right behind me is Bug Cage Company. I'm gonna go talk to Chad. We're gonna go shine this ultraviolet light on some scorpions to show you how scorpions react under ultraviolet light. So we all know that scorpions react to ultraviolet light. Here's a whole bunch of scorpions over at Chad's place at Bug Cage Company. Let's see what these guys look like under black light. Look at that. If there was ever like a scene of living Halloween, this is them. That is super cool. Oh, you got one too. Well, Chad, yours is a little bit bigger than mine. As they all say. Uh -huh. So here we have a desert hairy scorpion. This is what a desert hairy scorpion looks like under ultraviolet. That is way cool. So here we have an African black fat tail. So even though these are light colored scorpions, even when you have a black one, they still glow in the dark. That's pretty epic. All right, so what about humans under ultraviolet light? Here we have a guinea pig. And what is your a name? guinea pig. A guinea pig. Guinea pig. We have never seen you in one of my videos before. We have never met you before. <laughs> never ever. I, oh, I'm brand new. Yes. Brand new human. Now, you have a YouTube channel. It is. It is called Catalia. Ah, Catalia. I have heard of you before. Have you? That's so yeah, nice. Thank so you. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. For the 100 millionth time, because we're besties. We're besties. All right, so. Okay. I do have my light. Do humans glow under UV light? Do humans glow under ultraviolet light? Oh, wow. Like yes. I can feel the heat coming off of that thing. Wow, look at that. You can see all sorts of pattern on Catalia's face. Look at on her shoulder. Isn't that like bacteria? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it is. It's crazy. Look at that. Look at her nose. Look at her cute little nose. <laughs> and you've got like all these little speckly things look on your nose. Over here. Oh, look, look. Something right there is glowing on your arm. Are you? Do you have alien DNA at Oh, all? look at my terrible <laughs> fingernail. Oh my god. Those are worse than mine. But look at that. It does. It does in fact work on humans. Yeah, look at my little freckles. That is crazy. So that's what Catalia's arm looks like without it. And that's what Catalia's <laughs> arm... Th that is amazing. I mean, we were doing this kind of as a joke, but... Yeah, I know. We can see all sorts of pattern in human beings that we cannot see with our naked eye. What does my nose piercing look like? Let me see your nose piercing. Looks like a nose piercing. Does it glow cool or no? No, no, oh. no, no. Sad no. day. Yeah, sad day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so over here at Sacred Geckos and Exotics, uh, you've got an albino iguana on your head. The iguana to the naked eye. Watch this under ultraviolet light. Look at those eye membranes glow like that. And then when we run it down his body, look at all those little flecks showing up. All those little pigments that we can't see show up under the ultraviolet light. That is what an albino iguana looks like under ultraviolet light. There we can really see the uh, eye membrane just totally glowing under ultraviolet light. All right, so right here we have a Nuevo Leon king snake. Let's try the ultraviolet light on him. Oh, now that's weird. He's got like He's this... Got a little shed. Yeah. Oh, is that what I'm seeing there? A st stuck so. shed on his head? Maybe. But otherwise, the ultraviolet light does not really react with this king snake, other than that really weird thing on his head there. You can't see it without it either. Yeah, and you take the light away, and it's just a normal head. But you put that light on him, and look at that. Wow, that's unexpected actually. That's really cool. All right, so right here we have this giant albino boa. Absolutely gorgeous, but look at that pattern with the light, look at that. That white is glowing in the dark under this ultraviolet light. Right there, there's no white. You put the light and little white scales show up. So even in this albino boa, there we have a saddle that's pure yellow. Put the ultraviolet light and you can see all sorts of patterns that you couldn't see before. And then what do we got over here? This is a hypo sharp blizzard. And look at that head. So the head, pure white, put the ultraviolet light and look at that pattern show up. That is cool. Oh, and there's pattern showing up over here. Look at that. And that is exactly how boas see other boas. All right, so here we have a panther chameleon. Oh, oh wow. look yeah. at that. That looks fantastic. Open your mouth, dude. But look at those cranial crests on his head. Insane. And the jaw, oh my God, when they open their mouth, their mouth just glows. But look at those cranial crests on this panther chameleon. 
That is exactly how other chameleons see this chameleon. And the brighter that head crest is, the more either intimidating or attractive they are to other chameleons. So this is how chameleons see each other. So no light, that's how we see them. With the ultraviolet light, look at that glow. It's insane. Well, when these guys open their mouth, their mouth is like radiating glow. That's one of the reasons why, there, there we, we go. go, look at yeah. that, look at that. That's one of the reasons why chameleons open their mouth as a defense posture. Interesting. Because it is just flashing that glowing mouth at another chameleon, and that is a huge warning to stay away. So that's how reptiles see other reptiles, by using the rods and cones in their eyes to actually visually see ultraviolet light. I've wanted to make this video for a long, long time. I'm really glad that I did. I forgot my ultraviolet light at home. Thankfully, Ryan McVeigh over here at VivTag had one to lend me. It's in my pocket. It's mine now. It is. So guys, keep in mind that every other Tuesday, you're going to find bonus videos just like this on this channel. And I want to take a real quick moment to thank all of my Patreon supporters. If you are a Patreon supporter, I sincerely appreciate your support. If you would like to become a Patreon supporter of this channel, that link is in the description below. Go check it out. And guys, as always, thanks for watching. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.